Hey everybody, so here's a question for you. When is a repair bench not a repair bench? Simple, when it's a project bench. Uh, tonight what we're doing is we're having a little bit of a play around. And this is a, an idea that was as, uh, inspired to me by my good friend uh, Arcade UK. Uh, to do with reusing um, LED strip leftovers. Anybody who knows me or has seen the arcade will know that I'm a huge fan of these... Um, RGB strip lights that you can get off eBay for very little money and you can uh, get them to colour change and you can have them bouncing off the walls and all sorts of things. They create all sorts of great architectural glow effects and stuff and light the room up. Okay, so what we were talking about was marquee headers in machines. Now I've seen that there's a particular machine that I needed to... It had old style incandescent lamps in. I really didn't fancy the idea of maintaining the lamps in there and I wanted to put an LED strip in or I was going to put a tube in or something like that, to be honest. You know, mainly to save the marquee that's going in front of it. And I'll show you that in a second. So, um, I was having a conversation with him, and he said, Oh, well, these RGB strips, what you can do, basically, is you can apply 12 volts on the 12 volts pin, and then you ground the other three pins, and basically you'll get white light. And so I thought, will you? <laughs> you know, I mean, I'd see, there's a video that um, they did uh, a little while back ago using an Arduino and its PWMs to drive the, the different colours and do all the fading and things like that. And I'll put a link to that at the end because it's very, very interesting and you should really watch that. So, anyway, so I thought I'd give his, his idea a little experiment tonight and show you all that it can be done. So what we've got over here, all right, is uh, we've got an LED strip, which I've just got folded off the edge of the desk here and all the way back across here. And then down here we've got um, a single um, an SIL, or a single inline uh, pin header strip. And the white pin there is, is 12 volts. And then the other three are just the return grounds. And they come, what I'm doing is I'm using a jammer adapter, because it's the quickest way to get all of a 12 volt source. Um, and we've got a 12 volt pin there, two grounds that side, and I'll just lift it over and Oh, there we go, one on that side, and that's the blue one. So you've got the red and green on the grains there, and the, the 12 volt there, and the blue ones underneath. So, okay, so effectively what you can do is you switch this on and we should get white light. So let's have a look. Switch her on. Ta-da, we have white light. Okay, so let's see if we can get the effect to work with a marquee. Now this is going to be a little bit kind of um, handheld and probably not, you know, it won't be brilliant because we're um, because we're going to be doing it you know, one-handed and marquee's uh, thing. So I'm going to turn this uh, my bench light off. I'm going to hold a, uh, a marquee above it, and you can see it does actually glow quite up quite well. Now if I take the marquee away from it and I turn off the strips and put it back in front you'll see it's just sort of dull and plain and stuff so I'm going to go and turn the workshop lights off here and uh, hopefully not walk into the side of Super Hang On which is stood next to me and it's a fair old walk we'll sort that problem out okay ah the iPad's still on okay so come back over here and I'm going to switch on the lights, and you're not going to be able to see a lot on the camera until I do. There's the lights on. Sorry about the colour, the burn over. And ta da, there's the illumination through the marquee when I keep it framed. So that's how it's going to look. Now, I did think about just doing it as a single strip. It doesn't look particularly good. I'm going to move that out of the way and just, just show you. So let's put that there. And this is what it looks like if you just have a single strip. It's. It's good, but you know, personally, I think it needs both. I think it needs doubling over. If you've got the spare, use it. If you haven't, you know, I mean, play around with it. Now, there's one thing I will mention. I'll put the bench light back on. I'm going to turn it off. Um, obviously, this stuff, uh, this strip that I've got here, is a leftover piece of the waterproof stuff that you can get. Um, you can also get. Um, this type as well, which is the non-waterproof stuff. Now if I read the markings correctly, 12, what I'm going to try and do very quickly is swatch them over and make sure that this strip works as well. Let that drop off onto the floor. Spin that over like that. And what we should see, put some power to it, it's white again. Ta-da! There we go. And there's another white strip. 
mean that same thing. And again, it'll have the same effect. It's all got the 3M tape backing on it. Now, so what I'm going to do turn that off, I'll just point one last thing out. So at the very, very end of these, uh, you can cut these in, in various places, and you cut them every, they've got these little tab markers here, and you can cut them every three LEDs. So if you wanted to make this a really nice, neat installation, what you'd do is you'd cut it at the three mark, you know, at a strip of three, and then you put some sods and wires basically onto that, and then link them down to the next one, rather than folding it. It just just look a lot neater, a lot more well dispersed. But hey, that's uh, that's the way it goes. Anyway, all credit to uh, to Arcade UK for the inspiration in the original Arduino version of the idea. Uh, like I say, I'll post up the link to his video um, in the uh, description below. Uh, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, to both of us in fact, to, uh, to this channel and to his. Uh, do follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. All the details can be found in the description. Uh, watch here for more videos coming soon. See you later.